Hello everyone. So it's been a while since I worked on this house. Remember this is the tutorial from around I think a month ago. But today we're going to be adding on the doors and hallways. So uh, the doors, they're very easy. And the hallways are easy as well so this video shouldn't be too long. In our last video, we made the whole structure of the house plus the staircase. That was a pretty long video, but I hope this one's shorter. So I'm going to show you how to make the how to make the door. So first, we need somewhere to place the door. We're going to start a door here because there needs to be an in and out of this house. So I'm going to go to create and click on box. And you can choose where you want the door, but I prefer on the right side of the wall. You can always zoom in. And in the first house, the door was 6, 8 by 6, so like this. After you got that, I want you to go into the negatives, so backwards. If you look at it from the front view, it should look like this. And it should be red and say operation cut. As soon as it goes through the wall completely like this, you can press OK. And now there should be a hole in the wall. Now, we're going to make the actual door. So we're going to go to create box. I'm going to choose this plane right here. So once you have, you can zoom in. So the door is going to be 5 by 2.5 as you can see. So once you got that, Make sure it is eight millimeters in height. So the length is 2.5, the width is five, and the height is eight. And make sure it's operation new body right here. Once that is all checked, you can press okay. I'll give you a few seconds to check. All right, now you can press okay. So now we are going to move this object. So this door is going to be slightly open. So once you like, you can always choose where you want the door to be. I think this is good. So then you can press OK. So now, if we go to the other side, if you can't see the door very well, that's okay. You don't always move it again. So if we can go here and edit the feature and move it like this. So once you have it, if it doesn't look that good, like right now it doesn't. I just think this looks good for now. If you don't like it, you can always change it. Like if this door is not big enough for you, you're going to extrude it some more. And if the door is too thick, you can always knot it. You can always do operation cut. So once the door is complete, we're going to go under create and do sphere or the doorknob and make sure it's operation join. So the diameter should be two millimeters and the operation is join, then you can press OK. So now we have a door. You can also do a knob on the other side, but I am not doing that. So now, in 
you can design this home the way you want but for me this is going to be the kitchen this is going to be like a hallway kind of thing and this is going to be like a living room and usually between the living room and the kitchen there's no there's a hallway instead of a door in some houses anyway so we're going to go to we're going to go under create and choose box then click on this plane which is this wall right here not this one over here so in the third room to the right or to the left sorry and the hallway in the other one it's going to it's going to be 15 millimeters by 15 once that is done we can go to the front view and extrude this it should be red and say operation cut you can press ok and now we have a two doorways kind of so now, also this whole build is not to scale. If you want it to be to scale, you can always do that because the staircase is like not as big as this. So, I forgot to mention this in my first video, but here in the back there's going to be a bathroom and we need to extrude the wall. So we should right click and do press or pull. And we are going to extrude it. 4.5 millimeters so it shouldn't touch the staircase exactly once that is done you can go under create and do box again and remember I did 6 by 8 if that doesn't look in fact I kind of did that wrong I'll try again It's always good to start from the bottom, so if you need to make changes, you can do it much more easily. You can extrude as far as you want, but I'm just going to do like negative 7. And then the doorway, it's going to be completely open since no one's occupying it. So we're going to make another box. going to be 2.5 5 then it's going to have the height of 8 millimeters like we did for our last one make sure it's operation new body and then you can press ok I'm going to move this just a tiny bit like that and now the door is open. You could have a doorknob here, but I'm not going to do that. So, for the second floor, this is going to be another hallway area. And these two rooms are going to be bedrooms. And I'm going to put doors. So, we're going to go to create box. And put it on this plane like we did for the hallway on the first floor. It's going to be the exact same, so 6, 8, and once that's done, you can go to front view and pull it back, and should be operation cut. It, the height, it could be whatever you want, but just make sure it makes holes in both. But not this wall, we don't want that. After that, we are going to make another door. Create box. We're going to do it on the floor. So once we're down here, make sure it is 2.5, 5. And 8 as the height. Make sure it is new body. So this line should appear right there. And press OK. Now we have to move it. So, that, so it's tilted like a door. 
once that's good what we're going to do is move this and cop we're going to copy and move it so we don't have to make a new object altogether so click the creep copy box right there and now sometimes you have to rotate in order to see well so once that's good and press ok and I want to put a doorknob on this one so steer on here and it should be join and right there you can put knobs on all the doors but I'm only going to show you two and that is it I'm sorry if I went a bit fast for this video it's just that my part one video was so long I wanted to make this one very short for you guys but you can always go back and look at the steps again so now we have so now we have access to every single room in the house. It looks very similar to this one right here. Make sure to save. So control S. Press OK. And now it is saved. That is it for this video. Probably in my next one, we might work on some windows.